It's time to take a look at another battery powered PA speaker, but what I have on the table in front of me does not look like what we've seen in the past. Most of the time companies have tried to shrink the footprint of their battery powered speakers to make them as portable as possible. But what if you need more than a six and a half or eight inch woofer? What if you need a standard PA speaker with a nice big horn and a 12 inch driver? Well, that's where this new Mackie Thrash 212 Go comes in. This is one of Mackie's most popular affordable entry level speaker lines now with a battery with up to 10 hours of charge available for those situations where you don't have access to a plug. Let's take a look at it. What's up everybody, welcome to the Phage Views YouTube channel. My name is Jordan, if you're new here, thank you for joining me, and if you're a subscriber, welcome back as always. The new Mackie Thrash 212 Go offers a lot of features and functionality at a very low price point, and with the ability to take this out on the street to remote areas for different parties and events, it has a ton of flexibility that other speakers in the price category simply do not. In this video, I'm gonna talk about what comes with the speaker, the different specs that are important to know about, how this has performed with my testing, all of the different features, the ins and the outs, and then let you know whether or not I think it's worth picking one up for yourself. Now, before we dive into things, make sure that you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe so that you don't miss any more content coming in the future. Enough about that though, let's take a look at the Mackie Thrash 212 Go. I've taken a look at the Mackie Thrash series speakers before. If you haven't seen that video or my comparison against the Thump speakers from Mackie, make sure you go check those out. I'll include links in the video at some point. Essentially, the Thrash is Mackie's most affordable speaker line. It's very no-nonsense, simple ins and outputs for people that are new to the game or want a great backup option and don't want to deal with a complicated mixer section or a ton of different settings to manipulate. Another great feature that I love to see in this is the addition of Bluetooth support. Not only can you link your phone to it and playback music if you're bus or if you need it in an emergency situation, but you can link two of these together for a combined stereo image, you'll get increased output and you don't have to run a cable between the two cabinets. Really, really great to see. When it comes to the design and the build quality of the Thrash 212 Go, I love to see the nice modern metal grill on the front here. We've got a plastic cabinet construction and one of the things I really liked about this series when it was first released, four different handles, two on the sides, one on the top, one on the bottom, makes getting this out of your car, into and out of venues, up onto stages, up onto speaker stands, so much easier than if you just had the handles on the side. You didn't, you wouldn't think that these would be that helpful, but they really, really are. They're finished in the Mackie green color. We saw that on the previous Thrash series speaker. I know this is aimed at more beginners and entry level. I would have loved to see all black. I, I get why they have the accent color for the branding and for kind of the demographic the speaker is aimed at, but people could use this in a more professional scenario and having no green accents would be really, really nice. Now, we also have dual monitor wedge um, stands on the side right here. So if you wanna use this lying on its side as a stage monitor, you can do that from either configuration, tweeter on the right, tweeter on the left, whatever floats your boat. Now, we've got a speaker mount, a speaker stand mount, I should say, on the bottom for your standard speaker stand, and then on the back we have a very, very simple mixing setup. At the bottom, we have our power input with our toggle switch for the power, and then up top, two inputs, XLR quarter inch combo inputs, each with its own level control. Channel two is where you're gonna access the Bluetooth functionality. You can pair it to your device and then click the other uh, button to link it to a separate speaker. Instructions for that are included in the manual, and of course, you're gonna get your IEC charging cable as well. Now, on the far right side, we have our main volume output, as well as a mix output. If you do wanna run a cable to a different speaker or a different system, you can link the as well. Up above the main volume is the power indicator. If I flip the speaker on, you'll see the battery light illuminate showing you that the battery is charged and you'll also see the power overload button which will change to an orange or red if you start to clip the speaker. There's of course built in limit overdrive protection so that you don't damage the speaker by overdriving it. All in all though, I mean, with a battery included, that's gonna raise the weight of the speaker but I can still lift this pretty easily. Um, and for being a 12 inch speaker, it's relatively easy to manage. Now, I'm not a big fan of YouTube audio demos for a variety of reasons that I've explained multiple times in the past, but I'm gonna do one a little later on in this video, so don't worry. However, I first wanted to talk about what I love about the speaker and my experience using it. 
keeping in mind that the Thrash is the lowest or most affordable of Mackie's speaker lines, using probably the most basic components as far as the drivers and the amplifier. But with that being said, Mackie really has not skimped on the sound quality of the speaker. The sound is very, very full. The mids and the highs are clear. The bass, for what it is, is very present, and you're not gonna feel like your music is anemic, like you're missing anything. And when I used this at full volume, it definitely was hitting me in the face with the snares, the hi-hats, kind of those more abrasive mid-range frequencies. They're right in your face and they're very, very present. The sound carries a long way thanks to, like I said, a full range horn, which we don't often get in these more portable speakers. Now, the downfall of any standalone 12 inch PA speaker is going to be the low end and while there isn't a really a lot of distortion with the Thrash 212 Go, it does run out of bass response fairly quickly. At low volumes, I feel like they've EQ'd this well so that you kind of compensate when you have lower volumes, the low end isn't as impactful, but they have kind of EQ'd this so that uh, you do have some of that meat when you are not operating this at the top of its uh, power range. Now I took this out to a large college event to use as a stage monitor in my DJ booth. We were in a very echoey room and this came in super handy, more than enough power for that application. I did not need to turn it up even to halfway to get plenty of volume to hear in the booth. As a main speaker, I also used it at a smaller indoor gathering, again, barely getting up to a quarter, one third of the volume, and it was more than enough for that tiny space. I haven't yet been able to take this out as a main speaker for a larger event, but I would feel comfortable using this easily up to about 100 people. With my subjective review out of the way, we will do a quick audio test. I'm gonna play some generic royalty-free tracks from the YouTube audio library, because that's what I have to work with. I'll have my microphone about 10 feet away, and I'll play a variety of genres so that you can hear the response from the speaker, keeping in mind that the fact that this has to get edited, compressed, uploaded, played back on whatever internet you use and through whatever headphones, I would prefer if you could go and listen to these in person. You will definitely be blown away by the sound quality. So that is the Mackie Thrash 212 Go, a really awesome full-size PA system with a built-in battery that should allow you to perform at practically any event where you don't have access to power, where the power goes down, or where you just don't want to hassle with cables. I'm very impressed with the sound quality. I'm very impressed with how easy it is to get the speaker up and down off uh, stands, even with the battery. The four handles make that super nice. Very flexible as far as positioning with the dual monitor wedges and a very simplified input and output section so you don't have to mess with routing, filters, cutoffs, high pass, low pass, all that stuff. You can just plug in your cables and go. If you want to read more about this speaker, I'll include a link down below. You can go check it out there. Buy if you want to. It helps support the channel. I would love you for it. If not though, just subscribe and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any videos coming in the future. Like the video and leave a comment with your favorite portable PA battery powered speaker. I would love to know what I should try next on the channel. That's going to be it for today though. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.